Hello everyone, my name is Zama and welcome to Fishman's House. So, I'd like to thank the devs for giving me the game. Uh, and let's just check the Steam stuff. You've been kidnapped. You don't know why and where you are. All you know is that you have to escape from this place before the Fisherman kills you. In this house, you will find some items, puzzles, and uh, puzzles that will help you escape from this house. Will you survive or get killed by the fisherman? Sounds simple enough. Doesn't actually look like a fisherman, but we'll get over that. Uh, so it came out 23rd of October um, last year, made by Platuro. Uh, it's in early access at the moment. It's got a VR mode. It's seven dollars fifty, so about f probably five bucks USD. And yeah, let's get into it. Where am I? It's a good question. I didn't actually look at the controls. Um, this place is fucking dark. <laughs> Can I crouch? I... I think I can? Alright. Okay. I think I'm going to assume... I need a basement key. Okay, uh, I just thought it makes the key... <laughs> yep. Can't wait to get more achievements. Uh... I mean, I can't see shit, so I've probably missed so much. <laughs> oh, there we go. Don't know why that's not in the fucking first room, but okay. So I think... This game is like granny or whatever, how you get a house. <coughs> Something moving around the house trying to kill you. Uh, and you need to escape. I don't care for these type of games, but I mean... I get hard games for free, so... <laughs> I'm playing it. I'm doing my job. confused I hope he's stuck if he's stuck that's perfect I'll just fucking play the game I'll play the game as if there's nothing here although he's gonna come out of nowhere and scare the shit out of me Okay, there is an upstairs, so I'm just gonna go up there. I need a basement key for that room. I'm I'm literally assuming he's stuck in there. I don't understand what exactly has happened. Um in the key. Yeah. Need some gasoline. Okay, there's just a Jar of like pickles or something. Why can't I just jump out the fucking window and walk away? Why don't people consider that? I mean, I think it is snowy out there. Who cares? It's just a bit of cold. I mean, summer right now. I'd welcome it. There's jars of peanut butter. Okay, in the fridge. That's normal, I guess. Uh, come on, give me something. It's like fuck all. The crouching is, like, terrible. I mean, it goes down a bit. Not as much as you think it would, though. 
There's some stuff out there. Graphics is nice. Yeah, graphics are nice, and I think the um the scare as uh, the scare animation is actually pretty decent. Well, that's uh, what the fuck do I need this for? <laughs> I found my first item. Um, it doesn't help me much, does it? Uh, I don't. I don't know what this would be for. You still in there, bud? Yeah, you stay in there. I got a sledgehammer this time. Shouldn't be messing with me. Just in case, I'm just gonna close all the doors behind me. Um... I don't know. I haven't even found a key yet. Not even 100% sure what they look like. I mean, I know I'm, it's a, meant to be a key, but... Oh! Oh, yes! Okay. Good. Um... Backyard key. Oh. Okay, knew there was something. Knew there was something. Yeah, at least I got a weapon. Now I don't have a weapon. <laughs> Just gonna close the door. Just in case, you know. That, I'm gonna die on that. Um, I need a question mark. I'm guessing some kind of key. I need a shovel! I know where the shovel is! What else? Oh, I can hide in there. Um, again, there's a lot of hiding spots. Okay, so I'm gonna assume the way that they've done this... Uh, also, before I say anything more... <laughs> if that guy gets loose... I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna... Oof. I... <laughs> and I'm just running around like there's nothing wrong with this game. And like he just comes out of nowhere, he's gonna scare the shit out of me because he like it's, it's quite a terrifying creature. I got a crowbar. Okay, that goes to the front of the house, I think. God damn, I need to charge my sprint up properly. Oh, I need an ah. Oh, what do I need a crowbar for? Oh, the oh god, the box. Oh, there's a box somewhere. Oh, God. Um, upstairs? Um, assume that ghost is stuck. Yes. I think I need... Wait, can I go up another... I don't, I don't think I can. Wait, where am I? Here, here we go, here we go. Wait, what the f What? What did I get? I don't know what this is. Is this- Oh, is this- This looks like a chess piece. Looks like a queen. I'm going to assume... This goes to that thing. Haha! -ha. Oh yeah. Okay, I can hide in that. Don't know what that is. I need a plank. Uh, is this gonna... Oh, hello. Master key. Um... I mean, there's a basement. Oh, oh my god. Hi. I... It was clipped through a little bit, so I could barely see it. You just stay in there, mate. Here's the axe. Um... Where am I going? This way.
Now I need a master key, which is upstairs bedroom. Thanks for playing. Updates will follow soon. Classic way. So, somewhere there was a plank and gasoline. Uh, I don't know. Uh, drop his Q, Q apparently. Let's try this again. Um, let's see what the puck makes it easy. Yeah. I will say that, that it got stuck on, essentially it just got stuck where, um, the, uh, so does he instantly come downstairs? He does too. Oh, I could have hot hidden in here. Oh fuck. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so how it works is that you get five lives. He will jump scare you. Potentially get stuck. <laughs> and just roam around the whole house. The thing is, I think he actually lost interest, which is good. Basically what I'm doing now is... I'm just testing, um, testing the AI and everything because obviously I broke the game and beat it, um, but I need to test the AI. So they've made it so if they see you go in. So what happens? Okay, so he just goes to it. I guess if he sees you on the way, you attack you, but it's a good way of like redirecting him, potentially. Died. Okay. Um, I, I gave up in the end. Um, for one of these type of games, I don't even know what they're called. Like granny type games. <laughs> it's grandma, granny, I can't remember. But anyway. They need to be... So the ran... It's got... It's, I think it's, it's got the groundworks. Which is good. It's got everything that it needs to. 
Uh, it needs footsteps, I reckon. So, like you've said some, um, footsteps have to be added in the game. You can't just walk around without hearing something that would make you terrified. Yeah, um, so you can hear him laughing, but it's not necessarily all the time. Um, but it does give a clear indication that he's like close or something like that. So I did run around a few times. Um, some of the ground work, like the next level up from the ground works, like the polishing and whatnot needs to be there, as in the AI um, needs to be um, <clears throat> better in the way of like he got stuck twice. I had to. Well, the first time around he got stuck, and I got to complete the whole fucking game because he was stuck in that that one room. Um, what the other games do of this type is they... Basically, if you get captured, you get put back exactly where you started. Um, and... This has an interesting way of doing it, where you do get jump scared, and then he runs off. Like, you... I guess if you're trying to do it, and, like, you've got a certain amount of lives, you can just use a life to just quickly run around and do some things while he buggers off. Um, but it also just doesn't really make sense. He comes up to you, and you, like, he screams in your face. Um, the other ones actually make sense where they... where you get placed back where you started. Uh, and I think it should be, I think it should stay like that, because otherwise you just get that weird thing where you get jump scared, and then he runs away, and it's like, wait, what? Oh, okay, sure. Um, the items, there's, I, I like how there's an abundance of items, it seems. Um, uh, like a good amount of items, like there's two different exits, or at least I'm assuming there are just two, there might be a third one, I don't know. Normally you get to kill the, um... <coughs> thing or whatever um but the problem that i was having was i don't yeah i don't um i must have missed like keys or something like that because i couldn't find i couldn't even find the sledgehammer that time around couldn't find the sledgehammer couldn't find the axe um i found the um the plank and the gas is the gas can is um just past where you need to use the plank or at least that's what it was the first two times um but yeah i feel like i don't know those keys were really hard to find some of them just blended into where they were sitting um one of them actually like half clipped in so that's probably why i didn't see it because i can only see the ring of it i didn't actually see the like the rest of it the actual key section um so there's that too just the items need to be um not necessarily better hidden but it shouldn't be so you need to find one item in the house and that item leads to another item and it keeps leading to different items every time you use the item it shouldn't be like that and it was pretty much like that um so yeah i don't know i think there's just a bunch of things that just need to be fixed up to make this game better um definitely footsteps even though you do hear him laughing you can still do that or like groaning or whatever the fuck he's doing you can still do that but the footsteps also help because they're a constant they can be quieter but it's a constant noise of where he is um but then there's also like oh which floor is he on is he above you is he below you it kind of like the um the the laughing you could kind of tell where that he was below you um but like sometimes you like if he's like technically in the next room but upstairs you don't necessarily know you only know if you're on top of him um so yeah i think the game looked all right uh it, it seems to work pretty well uh in the general concept of things um so yeah, but I, I I think it's a working game just needs to be updated a bit, and I think it did say it's in early access. 
Um, apparently 9% of players have escaped. <laughs> um, it's only because <laughs> I broke the game. So yeah, it is an early access. Um, yeah, I do like how you can run away from him. You can hide from him. Um, I still don't know what the hell the generator does. Um, I, yeah, I do like how you can hide from him. Um, there's there's a, a lot of good hiding spots. The problem with it is that if he sees you go in or something like that, he will stop there, and you he will just be there the whole bloody day. Uh, like, well, he'll stay there. He'll stay walking in that spot, um, which got me killed once, and a, a few other times I just had to, like, jump out and run. Um, so, yeah, that needs to be fixed. If he needs to, like, completely lose interest as soon as you jump into that thing, even though it doesn't necessarily make sense, it needs to be that that's how you fix that problem he just needs to lose interest completely which he does but like walk in a different direction or something like that because for some reason he gets stuck some points i understand where he gets stuck um although some points it's i think when i was under the bed he um um he was just running towards me but he didn't necessarily lose interest so yeah, plus it's in VR, apparently. Um, you literally being chased throughout. I don't think... It definitely wasn't like that. He was definitely searching um, for you. I don't know if I... I think I can recommend the game, to be completely honest. I think it just needs a lot more fixing up. I need to do a very critical review when I actually talk about this. Um, so, I think I can say... I recommend it, but I'll be incredibly critical about a lot of things. Um, but like the ground, like I said, the groundwork is here, and that's what they need. Um, the other type of game that I played of this, the Christmas one, I, I mean, this is technically better um, because that one was just boring, and there are a lot of problems with it. Uh, while this one, you've got the groundwork, you just need to keep going up. So yeah, but. That's the fisherman's house. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, so I'll put on a BRB screen for Twitch. Uh, I'll play it. The next game is Submersion. Uh, you can read all of that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just put a BRB screen um, while I set up everything else. So yeah, uh, if you want the game for yourself, there is a link down below. Um, I, I think I recommend it. It's got the groundworks there, so if you like these type of games, you can play it yourself and give the re uh, give your own review to the developers, give them feedback, that kind of thing. Because, like, like I keep saying, they've got groundwork there. They just need to keep building up. So that's all they need to do to make that a a good ish game of that genre. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, check out all the links in the description below, and I'll see you all in another, in another one. Bye-bye!